favorite dish pork with pumpkin and uh, for this dish we will need ginger garlic onion green chilies fresh coriander cumin powder oil and salt Tada! I'm ready. So I've chopped the pumpkin into cube, about one inch each. Similarly, the pork as well. You can take any part of the pig and then chop them into cubes. However, you have to ensure that you have equal amount of fat and meat, just like I did. The pumpkin and pork has to be of equal quantities. I have coarsely pounded the ginger, garlic, and finely chopped the onion. The green chilies are slit. You can put as much heat as you want. I coarsely chopped the coriander. And oops, I forgot to mention about turmeric. So we are ready to move to the stove and start cooking. So the oil is hot. I have added some mustard oil here. However, you can add any of your choice. First of all, we are going to throw in the onions and green chilies. Together. The onions have turned brown and I'm going to throw in the pork. And then we stir it. We have to add salt as per taste. I'm using rock salt here. You have to keep this for another 10-15 minutes until the pork is slightly brown. It looks almost done. Well, it is about time when we add the other ingredients. I'm going to add the garlic and ginger and a little bit of my turmeric powder followed by some cumin powder. Only one teaspoon. Mix them well and fry for another 2-3 minutes at a medium flame. You have to keep stirring it so that it does not get stuck at the bottom. Now it is time to add the pumpkin. Now we have to cover this for another 10-15 minutes and let it cook on a sim. Now I'm going to stir and check. The pump is melting and we are going to cover this again for another 15 minutes. Done. and we're gonna stir it I'm gonna increase the flame now you can see that the pumpkin has completely disintegrated I'm gonna add about half a liter of water here stir it gently and ensure that it is on a high flame the gravy has come to a boil. Now I'm going to reduce the flame and let it cook for another 15 to 20 minutes until the gravy is dry. Keep stirring in between so that the gravy does not get stuck at the bottom of the pan. Well, it looks almost done. I'm going to throw in the coriander. Stir it gently and let it sit for another 2 minutes until the coriander is cooked so I have achieved the consistency that I want and it's ready to be served the dish is ready now and you can serve it with steamed rice or bread of your choice <laughs>